Astronomers have now identified nearly 5,000 extrasolar planets, planets which orbit stars outside of our solar system, with thousands more candidates awaiting confirmation. We are finding so many new exoplanets that astronomers now estimate that there is probably at least one planet for every star in the galaxy. Exoplanets may be fairly common in the universe, but astronomers recently found something in orbit around a distant star that is truly baffling. Whatever it is, this new extrasolar discovery has so far defied any explanation. Welcome to Matter. What exactly have astronomers found in orbit around this star? And is it actually evidence of an advanced alien civilization? Most of the time, finding exoplanets is a very slow, painstaking process. Astronomers will sift through countless gigabytes of data, measuring the observed luminosity of stars in the sky over time. If they're lucky, they'll see one of these stars suddenly drop in brightness, and then go back to normal a short while later. This brief dip in luminosity is a hint that there is something else, like a planet that is blocking out some of the light from the star. This isn't always enough to confirm the existence of a planet, though. Sometimes the dip is too small to accurately see through the noise. Errors in the data, anomalous activity within the star itself, and a number of other factors can also lead to false positives and inaccurate detections. Because of this, astronomers usually like to wait for the planet candidate to complete at least one more orbit so that they have multiple transit events to work with. Observing multiple transits of the same planet increases the chances of actually confirming its existence. To date, around 80% of all extrasolar planet discoveries have been made using this transit method. Although it is by far the most effective method for exoplanet detection that we have right now, it isn't easy. For most extrasolar transit events, the parent star is only observed to dim by a tiny fraction of a percent. Extremely sensitive telescopes and equipment are required, or the transit won't be seen at all. But in 2015, astronomers were sorting through data of the now defunct Kepler Space Telescope. What they found was something extraordinary indeed. Instead of the little 1% blip that is typical of exoplanet transits, on March 5, 2011, the star KIC 8462852, nicknamed Tabby Star, suddenly dropped in brightness by an unprecedented 15%. In February of 2013, an even larger 22% dip was observed. A third transit was detected only a month and a half later, which blocked out 8% of the star's light. Normally, subsequent transits of the same exoplanet usually have the same depth and occur at very predictable times according to the planet's orbit. But the transits of Tabby's star seem completely random, with no discernible pattern for the transit depths nor transit timing. Astronomers tried to predict another deep transit of Tabby's star in February of 2015, but unfortunately, the Kepler Space Telescope ceased operating before then, and there is no way to confirm nor refute their prediction. Whatever it is that is obscuring the light from Tabby's star would need to obscure at least half of the star's visible disk in order to produce the observed reductions in brightness. The only thing that is certain is that it is far too large to be a planet. One of the most exciting theories, popularized by countless news sources soon after the discovery was announced, was that the dimming was caused by some sort of enormous megastructure built by an extraterrestrial civilization. It could be something like a Dyson Swarm, a structure that is designed to nearly completely envelop an entire star, thereby being able to exploit a large percentage of the star's power output. The possibility is certainly intriguing. Could the dimming of Tabby's star be the first conclusive evidence for an alien civilization? The question, of course, piqued the interest of the SETI Institute. They have conducted multiple surveys of the space around Tabby's star using the world's most powerful radio telescopes. So far, none of these surveys have revealed any signals that might be attributed to alien technologies. 
While not necessarily dismissing it outright, many astronomers have also treated this theory with an eye of healthy skepticism, instead favoring more probable explanations. While Tabby Star probably isn't home to any aliens, it still presents a fascinating mystery. Some other theories include a circumstellar ring of dust, a large cloud of comets being torn apart, or even a planet being consumed by the star. None of these theories that astronomers have come up with have been able to entirely explain everything about the strange transits. Astronomers diligently kept a close eye on Tabby Star for several years, hoping to catch a glimpse of something that might help them solve the mystery. In 2017, they finally got lucky. Dr. Tabby S. Boyajan, the star's namesake, and her colleagues began to see their star dim slightly. They quickly got the word out to their fellow astronomers around the world, and dozens of observatories were turned to watch the event. The transit lasted for around three days and showed a 2% fluctuation of the brightness of Tabby's star. Observations were made using wavelengths across the electromagnetic spectrum in an attempt to gather as much information as possible during the fortuitous event. Six additional fluctuations were observed over the following year, with the greatest being at least a 5% drop in brightness. After analyzing the data, Dr. Boyajan's team made a significant breakthrough. The dimming of Tabby's star is wavelength dependent, meaning that whatever it is, it blocks out certain wavelengths of light and lets some others through. This does cast even more doubt on the idea that the transits could be caused by an alien structure. Dr. Boyajan said that, if a solid opaque object like a megastructure was passing in front of the star, it would block out light equally at all colors. So it probably isn't aliens. Nobody is quite sure, but the transits from 2017 and 2018 provided some helpful insight. The fact that Tabby's star dims unequally across different wavelengths is consistent with space dust. Tiny dust particles, even smaller than the microscopic particles in cigarette smoke, might clump together in large clouds surrounding the star. These clouds would absorb some wavelengths of light while others were scattered through. However, that doesn't explain where all the dust came from. One additional theory is that the star is orbited by a gas giant planet with exceptionally large fluctuating rings. Another suggests that the planet could be followed in its orbit by a swarm of asteroids. Spectroscopic analysis of the star shows that there is no material close to the star and that all of the dust is very cold and very far away. This likely rules out the theory that the transits are caused by an exploding planet. More recently, in 2019, a new study posits that the fluctuations of Tabby's star might be caused by orphan exomoons. The study utilized numerical simulations of the migration of gas giant exoplanets and their moons shortly after formation. Approximately 50% of the simulated scenarios show that tidal interactions can eject a newly formed exomoon from orbit around its parent planet, the moon becoming a small planet on its own. If the exomoons are rich in volatile compounds, such as water ice, methane, or ammonia, they would be dramatically affected by the solar radiation. Their sun's radiation may cause much of the ejected exomoon's volatile surface material to sublimate and drift into space, forming a diffuse, gaseous envelope around it. The simulation showed that these hypothetical orphaned moons and their evaporating surfaces might produce light signatures similar to those observed with Tabby Star. While the mystery of Tabby Star has not yet been definitively solved, astronomers have found some major clues along the way. No, it doesn't seem likely that the strange transits are evidence of an interstellar civilization, but that doesn't mean that this isn't a significant astronomical discovery. Tabby's star is an anomaly, which means that there is something about planetary formation that we don't understand. This is an exciting opportunity for astronomers to learn something new about our universe that we didn't know before. Being able to unravel this puzzle will give us a better understanding of how stars, planets, and moons form and how they interact and evolve over time. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.